Hello, today we are going to talk about the leg geometric mean theorem. Here you can see on the screen a right angle triangle ABC, where A is a 90 degree angle, marked with the 90 degree symbol. So if we draw a semicircle which is centered on the midpoint of the hypotenuse BC, which is the diameter, this semicircle passes through point A. This is based on the inscribed angle theorem. If we draw the perpendicular height D, it divides the hypotenuse into two segments. The one which is adjacent to side C, we will call E, and E is the perpendicular projection of the leg or the side C. The theorem states that C squared is equal to A times E. In other words, the leg geometric mean of A and E is C. Now that we are going to demonstrate that this theorem works, because the two triangles that we create when we draw the perpendicular height are proportional triangles with the same angles. The large angled triangle colored in blue and the smaller right angle triangle colored in pink. Let's start with the large one ABC. A is the 90 degree angle and as we know all angles of any triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So using this rationale if A is 90 degrees, then angle B and angle C must add up to 90 degrees also. So we will call the angle at point B alpha. And the angle at point C must then be 90 degrees minus alpha, as can be seen here on the screen. So now we are going to look at the smaller right angled pink triangle ABH. As we have already demonstrated that the angle at point B is alpha and we've created a new 90 degree angle at point H. So the remaining angle at point A must be equal to 90 degrees minus alpha. So now to demonstrate even more clearly that these two right angle triangles are proportional, we are going to flip and rotate the smaller pink triangle and slide it to the left and here you can see clearly that the three angles match exactly. As you can see here very clearly, the blue and the pink triangles are proportional to each other. According to this Thales theorem, if the angles are the same, then the sides must be proportional. In other words, B divided by D is equal to C divided by E is equal to side A divided by side C. And from this relationship, we can extrapolate that C squared is equal to A times E by cross multiplying. So here we have demonstrated how the leg geometric mean formula comes about. And you can see here, if we simplify the equation by solving for C, we can see that C is equal to the square root of A times E. And this formula is very useful in geometry in general. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Until the next video.